using the product advertising module of Dokan, vendors can now advertise and promote their products on the marketplace. They can either purchase advertising or buy advertising through subscription. We will show you both ways. Here we will show you how to set up the product advertising module. Let's start. Firstly, we need to enable the product advertising module. For that, go to modules. There, activate the module. After activation, you can see advertisement option in the side menu bar. Now we need to configure settings. To configure the settings, move to settings. Scroll down, and here is the product advertising option. Here you will find the number of available slot. Type how many products can be advertised. Enter minus one for no limit. Expire after days. Enter how many days the product will be advertised. Vendors can purchase advertisement. If you check this box, vendors will be able to purchase advertisement from product listing and product edit page. Advertisement cost. Cost of per advertisement. Set to zero so that vendors can purchase at no cost. Enable advertisement in subscription. If you check this checkbox, vendors will be able to advertise their products without any additional cost based on the plan they are subscribed to. Mark advertised product as featured. If you check this checkbox, the advertised product will be marked as featured. Products will be automatically removed from the featured list after advertisement expires. Display advertised product on top. When you check this checkbox, advertised products will be displayed on top of catalog listing, shop page, and single store page. Out of stock visibility. Hide out of stock items from the advertisement list. Please note, if the WooCommerce setting for out of stock visibility is checked, the product will be hidden despite this setting. Now hit Save Changes. Now go to Advertisement option from here. Currently, we don't have any advertising. Let's add one. When you click on Add New Advertisement, a model form will appear. First select Store from the drop-down list. Then select the product from the drop-down list. Hit Add New. Advertisements are created. Remember, when you purchase advertisements from the back end, you don't need to pay any fees. Here we can filter by store, created via, and expiry date. Now let's see what will happen if the number of available slots is full. Go to settings and set the amount, and save the changes. If we want to add a new advertisement, here we will get an error message no slot available for advertisement. Purchasing advertising. Let's see how vendors can purchase advertisement from the marketplace. Go to the vendor dashboard, then move to the product section. Here it is. We can purchase advertisement slots from here. Just click on it. Now complete the payment. In case of cash on delivery, orders need to be completed from the back end. Vendors can purchase advertisements through subscription as well. For that, the admin needs to activate the option Enable Advertisement in Subscription. Firstly, the admin needs to set the number of advertisement slots and expire time in the subscription pack. Now if the vendor is under any subscription pack, then purchase the advertisement for free. They won't need to pay any extra fees for the purchase. The subscription fee will cover that. So when the vendor purchases any advertisement, they will see the number of available slots and expiry date in the pop-up. However, if the admin keeps both the option, for example, vendors can purchase advertisement and they have advertisement on their subscription pack as well. Both options check subscription will take priority over the purchase.
Here you can see the advertised products on the shop page and single store page. This way, vendors can show the advertised products with the help of the advertising module. For more updates, visit our website, join our social pages and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.